Hello YouTube and all who inhabit it, my name is Leaf, and today, as you can see, we are back in another Minecraft video. There has been, uh, I've been just like watching some videos around the community and stuff like that, and there have been some pretty disturbing yet exciting discoveries that people have found, and I thought that I might as well share about them because I haven't seen very many people touch on the subject that I'm about to touch on. Today we're going to be talking about two of the most famous discs in Minecraft disc 11 and disc 13. If I go into into the creative menu and search up disc, none of them are really like the rest. These all have interesting names like cat, blocks, chirp, everything like that. But this, these two discs are the only two discs that are numbered for some odd reason. And they stand out from the rest by a lot. So let's start out with the less creepy one, Disc 13. You get the gist. It's a really creepy disc. Uh, it goes on for a while, just doing like that, like up to a minute. It's just, it's just really kind of unsettling and creepy. But next, the one that is related to it, disc 11. Oh boy, there is so much weird stuff surrounding this, and today we're going to talk about it. So I'm gonna pop this in here. That is it. Are you scared yet? That is just bone chilling. So, a lot of people already know about these discs, obviously, because they're definitely two of the most creepy discs in the Minecraft community. A lot of people have actually been talking about them lately. Um, due to the reason, the more notable one that I have here, disc 11, the creepier one, has gotten an update. So, as you all know, we just had Minecraft 1. the 1.14 update updating textures, and I actually noticed this, um, I decided to play through Minecraft again with the new update. I actually noticed that this was a retexture, but I just thought that there was like a new revamped texture of all of the discs, but I was wrong. If you search up disc and then compare everything here to the ones uh, prior to the update, then you'll see that everything is exactly the same except for disc 11, meaning that something might have happened to it or something like that. So why was it only that that had changed? Originally, I had thought nothing of this because, again, I had just thought that it was the texture pack and I thought that, the, the, that this entire disc was just an old Easter egg added in by Notch, but no, Mojang still cares about it. And it just boggles my mind as this thing it, it has been in the game for like so long and now we're actually seeing some more about it um so there's a lot to cover with all this stuff so it's actually highly debated what is actually being depicted when playing this disc personally i think here i'll play it again it starts out 
sort of changing to channels. This is a person walking, in my opinion, breathing heavily, possibly running away from some sort of enemy. You can hear some of those cave noises that you'll hear if you're mining down below. Um, pulling something out, probably something in its inventory. I believe that this is flint and steel, which is why this is hanging up. You can hear the rattling of the flint and the steel, then he coughs, possibly because of smoke or dust or something like that. So he's in a cave. Then you, you might have heard an enderman right there. So Then you can hear him reading through a book. Possibly an enchanted or uh, an enchanting table, but there aren't really very many. There's the flint and steel again. There aren't very many actual books in Minecraft. And then this weird thing starts to happen, which I can envision someone just like running away from an enderman or something like that. So it's just it's just really weird. That that's just what I personally think, and that's what I personally make of the disc. And then at the end, you can just hear static. So I think that there's more to this disc than it's the eye, as a lot of people do. So it's actually very widely debated what it is, what, what it's actually depicting. Obviously, in uh, the olden days of Minecraft, when Herobrine was still a thing and all of those conspiracies went around, uh, a lot of people thought that it was depicting Herobrine chasing a player. But now, uh, in my opinion, I it seems like Mojang just wants to get the idea of, Hero, of Herobrine out of everyone's head. So I don't think that it's Herobrine at all. Um, I think that it, it's some sort of enemy or entity that we haven't even seen yet so uh what to talk about next all right so then we have disc 13 again people saw the connection between these with disc 11 and disc 13 being combined into each other being somehow being combined so they do actually kind of fit into each other quite well so i'm gonna try and play these at the same time to the best of my ability that I'd actually come up with just today uh, about disc 11 is at the end you can hear static coming in through the disc well if you don't know how discs work uh, you put it on a tray and it, the thing goes around and it plays music based on the lines well as you can see here there is a cracked section of the disc so possibly maybe if the disc is going slower or something like that this story isn't fully completed because in the new texture, there's almost like a shard of the disc missing. Um, so where that shard is, we don't know. Um, it could just be right there. It, it, like, what, what part are we putting into the jukebox? That's, that's kind of like the question. But I think, in my opinion, that um, the static, the thing that scratches the disc uh, to make the actual noise, I think that that's, the static is when that hits cracks okay so there are two last things to talk about one is the combined discs known as disc 24 disc 24 doesn't actually exist it's more of just like a theory although it doesn't really have any groundwork so i don't know if you can even call it that but essentially as you can see here we have disc 11 disc 13 people think that because they fit together they add the numbers together and then you get the fabled disc 24 it's supposed to be really creepy people have uh made data packs and things like that about it just to you know fool around with people um there is no actual disc 24 it's just kind of like a creepy pasta mystery kind of thing and then there's another mystery disc that uh apparently is real that we don't know it's disc 12 because we have a disc 11 we have a disc 13 but there's nothing in between it would make sense if we had a disc 12 to put them both together, but no, we don't have anything. 
So it's all really mysterious, and all the speculation about this just spiked up again because we saw all the new stuff going on with Disc 11, all the new retextures, uh, and for seemingly no reason. So a lot of stuff just spiked up about this again. Even the actual audio file itself has changed, mainly including uh, Enderman noises instead of other entity noises. Um, then actually there's one last thing to talk about. In Disc 11, so some of you guys might know what a spectrogram is. Um, essentially, it's a, a thing that you can like high, it takes the intervals that a sound clip is emitting and then it takes them and essentially what it does is it, it puts them into an image. So I'm about to flick an image up on the screen what the spectrogram copy of disc 11 is. Um, so here it is. It depicts Herobrine or Steve, something like that, um, on the front of the disc, which is honestly just super creepy. So a lot of people just think that it's a player head, but we can't actually tell. Um, then there's another thing, uh, if you can see it on the side very vaguely, you can see 1241. Uh, nobody really knows what that is. Some some people think that it's C418's signature. I think his name is C418, right? Yeah, C418. A lot of people think that it's, C, it's C, uh, CA14's signature. Or C418. Why do I keep getting that mixed up? A lot of people think that it's C418's signature, but there is no real truth to this. Well, guys, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like down below. If you want to see more creepy style videos like uh, this one, because I do actually have some ideas for the future, if you want to see more videos like this, please do leave a like, comment down below what kind of videos you want to see, and then also subscribe for more, because I actually really enjoyed doing uh, this sort of like analysis video. See you guys later.